In this video, we'll write the structure for 3-methylhexane. So first off, we need to recognize this A-N-E. That means we have an alkane. We'll have carbons and hydrogens, and they'll be single bonded. So we'll write the longest continuous carbon chain. That's going to be the hexane. Hex means six, so we'll put six carbons in a row. And let's bond those together. Since it's an alkane, that'll be a single bond here between the atoms. Next, we number the chain. We'll start from the left and go to the right. So on the third carbon, we'll have a methyl group. That'll look like this. The methyl group, you'll see this quite often in organic chemistry, that's CH3. So we're just gonna put another carbon here on the third carbon here in our parent chain. We'll put a bond and let's get rid of these numbers. So now we can add hydrogen atoms onto each carbon. Each carbon's bonded to four things. So we have one bond here, so we need three hydrogens on this carbon, one, two, so we'll add two more. Here we have one, two, three, so we just need one more hydrogen, and so on, till we have hydrogens around all the carbons. I won't write all the hydrogens in in this video. So each of these carbons is attached to four things. That means it'll be sp3 hybridized, and that'll give it a structure that looks like this. So we have our parent chain of one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, that's the hexane, and on the one, two, three, we have another carbon, that methyl group. So this is the structure. It's a little bit more uncluttered than we have here. And we can see the bond angles due to that hybridization here, that 109.5. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.